Hello and welcome to the Awkward Genius. After almost a hundred views of my wooden spoon video in only the first few weeks, I realized that people are super interested in what I have to say about kitchen utensils. That's why today I've got something special for you. I got a new knife and I'm going to show you all about it, how to get a new knife all ready to use so that it's safe and handy and then also a little bit of cutting. I'm going to do some chopping. Chop, chop, chop. Here we go. Don't sit around and miss it. It's going to be a great video. Stay until the end and it will be something really cool. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to think of something. And then also, if you have gotten anything that you'd like to say about kitchen knives, put it in the comments. That's where it goes, in the comment section. Also, I'll put some cool knives that you can buy if you want to buy some knives down there. And buy recommendations of cool knives. Cool knives. Now people say that a sharp knife is a safe knife. Well, that may be true for people who really know what they're doing or professional knife users. But for me, I've used a duller knife for a long time and I feel a little bit better, especially with kids in the house. And I got a 10 year old who's starting to use, learn how to use the knife himself. So I actually do something that seems crazy. When I get a brand new knife, this thing's way too sharp. I de-sharpen it a little bit, but that's not the biggest point. The biggest point is this one. Look how sharp that thing, how pointy that thing is. Now, when I worked at a restaurant, I saw a professional chef doing this and I asked him what he was doing, and why he was doing it. And he said, well, what's the one thing you do with the point of your knife? And without thinking, I said, jab it into my hand. Now that's not very useful. So what I actually do when I get a new knife, and this seems crazy to most people, is I'm actually gonna just find any old rock I'm just going to take that point off. I'm not quite there yet. I'm going to keep working. Now this seems to be a really good knife. Hard metal. It doesn't want to go. So I take the old uh, metal file. I don't know if you'll be able to see that really well, but that is quite a bit less pointy. Now this knife is still plenty sharp. In fact, if you don't have uh, a Willy Waller, or I guess it's a potato peeler, what the French call, uh, they actually call it an economizer. If you don't have one of those, you can use your perfectly good, perfectly sharp chef's knife. You can tell me if you think I'm wasting too much of the carrot here, or if I'm doing a good job. In any case, just more for the compost. Bonus tip to safely clean the knife. Wrap around, stay away from that edge. Same thing when you're drying. There you go. Okay, now the last thing I'm gonna do, for you, I got this beautiful little onion from the farmer's market. Apparently they're still getting some stuff out of the ground or these have been sitting in cold storage for a little while. I'm going to show you how this knife works. Now, of course, I've got to get that first skin off. Once that's ready to go, I'll be ready to show you how. I chop up an onion, give you a little bit of technique. Now, you've probably seen this. You've got the knife just resting against your finger. There, cut it in half. Now, you want the knife to rest against your finger. And so you shouldn't have to look at it, you know where it is all the time. And as long as this movement with the knife is controlled, you're not going too high where you can get your fingers underneath it. Well, there you go. You can just chop up your onions. This way, if onions make you cry, you can just close your eyes. You can look somewhere else. And that way you won't have a problem. If you like this video, you can subscribe up back here. Next video is down here. You have a good one. I'm gonna need some onions.